Right, welcome to a fabulous, what a sunny day. Is it really England? It's unbelievable. How many warm days we've had. And uh, we're on the River Trent. And after me, terrible, 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 embarrassing performance on the Air Festival in the week. Which uh, I still can't shake my head and think, oh, I can't believe how wrong I got it, but I did, so it happens. We're back at Burton Joyce and I'm on the roll stretch again. All that moaning I did the other week, that was perfect, wasn't it? Because it got me at roll stretch. Whether I want a beer is a different matter. And uh, I'm, I'm on here again. And uh, and if you didn't watch the last one, it's called roll stretch because of, uh, there's a roll behind you. And this is Ashfield water and this is the only bit we can fish apart from specialised matches. And we're here to practice for next week because next week is the Riverfest final and a big event, two days, Saturday, Sunday and we're here for a, this is a practice match and I've drawn bottom of the road, peg three now I did a video a few years ago and I was at, there you go, look that's peg three and I was on peg two, I caught a load of bream but there was some water in it that day and they've not caught them there for a, for a while to be honest with you and with the river being really low and clear I can't see many bream feeding, if any and probably not even viable, it's that clear. Um, but look, it's beautiful, isn't it? So, I've uh, so I've come for a sneaky practice, and uh, I'm, uh, I've got Lee right below me, and uh, I've got um, Simon Roth below him. I don't really remember him from the old Barnton Black days, great angler, peg one, he ain't lost his drawing arm, if nothing else. So, and uh, so we're in good company. So we'll have a bit of a laugh. So as you can see, it's a bit of a thing to get down, but anyway. So I'm quite looking forward. There's loads of small fish topping, like all the time. Uh, see if we can see anywhere when I'm walking down. And uh, I'm only practicing for next week, so I'm not, I'm not out for a bream rod up because I need to I need to catch the other fish. Because um, if it stays like this. There will not be many big weights, it'll be more a small fish match like dace and roach, I think. And you might need two good pegs for that type of fishing. You'd think always someone's going to get a, a big weight, but you never know. So, uh, what we've got set up? Well, I ain't set everything up, but I've, I've set a few things. Can't believe that's in the fish top since I told you. About right, that, innit? But I've seen loads of small fish top, which is good because that's what I'm fishing for. I'm just watching my footing as I go down here, so if I slide in you won't laugh, will you? So basically I ain't got my bait out yet, which will be maggots cast as an emp. I ain't got it out uh, for a simple reason, I want it in freezer bag and for a while. So I've got, I'm, let's have a look around here. I've got a Wagner rod look set up. Got my Wagner rod, we want a new 3000 reels. There you go, new sub line. They look nice, not sure at price, very light. Look nice, so that's the first time out for that one. Um, that's the first time out, and then on other rods, I've got a five meter whip set up. Now, you see, which is in the weed, you can see the weed, can you see the weed there? There's a load of weed, they'll be perching them. It's really weedy peg, it is just here. I don't know whether you can see. I can't believe it's oh, there's a fish just top there, look, one there, just top. I've seen loads of tops, which is a good sign because it means uh, that there's some small fish here. And there you go, look, then I've got two feeder rods. I've got uh, a 12 foot, sorry, 11 foot three piece solus. That one there, we want a new, that's my, that's my dace rod. We want a new, marvellous 4,000 reels on, brand new. You're going to read a lot about them in a bit. And on that one, I've got my 12 foot, I've got my 12 foot marvellous TPS with a 5,000 new marvellous reel. Um, so you're going to read a lot about these reels. And these rods in the next few couple months they're all nice and they're, uh, they're out soon so i'm giving them although i've been testing the rods for quite a while now there you go look fish topping look, look, look little fish and when i were further up here i hardly saw a fish the other day but i've seen oh i must have seen 100 top um lows and a little, little dace and, and roach but yeah them rods i've been testing them for a while they're fine there's nothing wrong with them and, but the reels are the first time out, they're having the debut today, although I've been testing a prototype. There you go, another one top look. There you go. It's uh, plenty topping. So, uh, so yeah, so we t we're testing and practicing. But what I need to do is practice for next week. What I need to do is try and catch 
another one there look 15 pound of a small fish that's my target uh up above that'll be a bonus uh, i don't do much pole fishing now like this so it's difficult for me to compete with them so i'm going to do what i do best and uh, i'm just going to fish a little feeder catch them and then i've got my wagger rod set up if they're off bottom which it looks like they are because they're all topping so it looks lovely doesn't it right. so i might have a little flick with, with whip inside see if there's any perch in reeds where i lose feed out there and before i go on it so lovely day got my drinks get comfortable sort my bait out now and uh, I'll let you know how we get on. I think we'll get a few bites. Well, we've had, uh, I don't know, it might have 10 pound, 95 fish, probably 15 little perch, and 70 day to 80 days, something like that. Just fish maggot feeder all day, just just there, just short at dark bit there, and just had spells. And when they were there, it was stupid, and when they weren't there, I couldn't get a bite by me. Um, I just wanted to see what I could catch. And uh, not going to think Lee below us has been catching on hemp, and he'll have a, a good way to think with sound of it. But I don't know how it's fished, but anyway, my new reels come good. That were, that were brilliant today. I'm reach off with that 4,000. You'll see that next year. But I needed to know where I could catch, so I fished it all day. And uh, when they were there, like I said, you got you could catch one every every minute, it was stupid. And then when, when they want, they want. And look at me. Can you tell what I've been using? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been on caster, yeah, yeah, I know you have. So, anyway, so I'll let you know what I've got, but I've got 95 fish anyway, so I think it'll be £10, something like that. I'll let you know. Right, analyse today. Uh, 96 fish, probably, I think 80 days, 16 perch, something like that. £14.6 the weight. Um, and I, I'm actually come away thinking because there were lots of periods today i couldn't catch it, it was really weird you could catch five in two minutes chucking got one got one got one got one then you couldn't get a bite now whether that's because of pike coming predators or something i don't know uh or whatever but at the end of the day like i still a 14 pound which on day were a good were a decent weight lee's had 20 pound below me um we'll, he'll get it money with that i would think um he's caught on emp but I can't see, I knew we were catching, but I was more interested today to see what I could catch on a maggot feeder because the next week, and it were, this were a practice match for next weekend for me. I needed to know what I could, what I thought I could catch. And I'm quite happy with that, to be honest with you, because the way it is, it's going to turn into a days and a ropes match. Uh, even though I've heard there's a couple of barbel caught on barbel peg, um, the way it's fishing, there won't be many big fish caught. So... Unless you're in an area where you can fish a big fish, uh, you, you're going to have to catch your you, you sort of 14 to 20 pound of, of dace and roach and, and everything. There's a lot of, a lot of pole anglers in this match that, that fish this kind of, you know, for hemp, tears, casters, whatever, for, for these fish. Um, so I just needed to know and clear it in my own mind, and I'm quite happy with that, to be honest with you. So I've come away 14 pound. Didn't fish best match. Um but I, I learned a lot today. I'm really, I've come way really chuffed. So um, I, whether I've got a section default, I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. Um, but um, I've enjoyed. I've actually enjoyed it. Um, trying a few new products out with them. Reels are fantastic. Really, 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 they're marvellous reels. Really impressed with them. Wind against the fish, which is what we, we, we're looking for. It's really chuffed with them. So uh, and the. Uh, the the, the 11 foot and the 12 foot uh, TPS, fantastic. Love them. Um, but them reels are somewhat special. Them, they're really, really nice. Really chuffed with them. So, so yes, yeah, so we've had 14 pounds and a nice day's fishing. And uh, we'll get ready now for Riverfest final next week, which is the big one for me. Uh, that's the one I've been trying to get. And the way it's fishing, um, we, there's not so many big fish you're going to need a, f uh, a, couple of, a couple of like. 14 15 pound pegs i think and that, that might just sneak you in unless somebody gets i'm not sure anyone's going to get any big weights of bream because there's going to be no water in but it's that barbel peg it's that's the one that's going to going to maybe feed one day and make somebody who draws that champion maybe i've got to draw it to make sure so so yeah i'm quite chuffed um i've, I've enjoyed my day and i've just caught a maggot feeder a short up length 
and, and I've had like, not like I said, 96 fish. So we'll see what happens. But, uh, uh, but I've really enjoyed it today. Have a great day and a great night.